The recent decision to shut down a huge coal-fired power plant at Lake Powell, sending shockwaves along the Utah-Arizona border, the loss of jobs could devastate an already hard-pressed region. Science and Nature Specialist John Hollenhorst reports from Navajo Mountain, Utah. Navajo Mountain is an enormous dome of volcanic rock that looms over the south shore of Lake Powell, but it's also a town on the eastern slopes of the mountain. To call it remote and hard to get to is an understatement. There's only one way you can come in here, the one way out. To get there from the Utah State Capitol requires eight or nine hours of driving. You actually have to leave the state and drive for a couple of hours in Arizona. It's one of the most dramatically lonely roads anywhere. But when you finally cross the state line again, there you are, Navajo Mountain, Utah. A place that's so beautiful, peaceful, and quiet. It's a collage of old and new, traditional hogans side by side with modern homes and well-tended subdivisions, and all around spectacular vistas of ancient rock. Like many Navajos, Eloise Yazi moved back here from the big city. She says it's a place like a heart. Yeah, it's beautiful, just nice to live here, even though there's no store, no gas, laundromat, you know. Her sister Ella came back too. Just to be with um, my tribe and um, <laughs> just to help volunteer and with the community. Jobs have always been scarce around Navajo Mountain. Nearly a dozen residents have moved two hours away to Page, Arizona for jobs at the Navajo Generating Station. But now the future has turned dark. The owners of the coal-fired power plant voted to shut it down because natural gas is now much cheaper than coal for generating electricity. When you compare coal to natural gas, just simply don't make it economically reasonable to continue to operate. That's real economic trouble for extended families. We support uh, our, our, our parents, our grandparents, and other relatives, so uh, it's going to, it, it's going to, you know, they're going to feel it. Navajo Mountain resident Key Natani retired after 36 years. He commuted 150 miles round trip to the coal mine that fuels the power plant. Now he's worried about future generations of Navajo. The coal mine, too, is likely to shut down. Keep it open, yeah, because they got a rich coal, coal layer in that mountain. The problem, of course, is there's not much else around here that generates very many jobs. And on the surrounding Navajo reservation, unemployment is already a severe problem. Navajo Nation has the highest unemployment rate in the country. Bill Dyack is the mayor of Page, Arizona. I just look at the, the dollars and cents, and I can't see how they'll recover from this. He's deeply worried about his town's future, too. It's devastating. It's, it's moving toward the unknown. Overall, about a thousand jobs are on the line. City officials hope a recent boom in tourism will take up some of the slack. Travelers are flocking to the area. It's great. For the spectacular scenery. It's overwhelming. So it's, it's the, the, well, how do you call it? It's the greatness of the nature that's, that's around us. Just across the highway from the power plant, slot canyon tours have become extremely popular. People venture into Upper and Lower Antelope Canyon, generating big income for the Navajo Nation. They charge $8 per head. And last year they had 830,000 visitors. But no one has any illusions. Jobs at the power plant and coal mine are lucrative. Those are extremely high paying jobs with extremely good benefits. While tourism jobs tend to be seasonal and minimum wage. It can be a major part of it, but I think you're still going to have to diversify outside of just tourism. In an out of the way place like Navajo Mountain, it's unlikely many tourists will ever show up. And that's okay with some traditionalists who aren't too alarmed. You can always fall back on livestock and then if you know how to do, uh, if you can do craft. The old ways of the Navajo to temper a grim looking future. John Hollenhorst, KSL 5 News, Navajo Mountain, Utah. Thanks, John. Now, negotiations are underway for the timetable of the power plant shutdown. It could come at the end of this year or the end of 2019. Many people in the region are hoping for a last minute rescue, possibly through a new ownership arrangement involving the federal government and the Navajo Nation.